Vegetable vendor Kevin Caruso has had enough of this flood. It's a big uh, ordeal for us. Business owners like Kevin around Plum and Pete Rose Way face the prospect of cleaning up, reopening, and then being torn down next winter for a new football stadium. Plans show the new field would be in four feet of water today. So does that change plans to put it here? Absolutely not. All along, we have assumed that we would need at least the same type of technology in the new stadiums as Synergy Field has. And that 28-year-old technology has somehow managed to keep Synergy Field as the only green space still on the riverfront, protecting its brand new AstroTurf. You can see the water in the parking garage lapping up against this floodgate. It was put in early Sunday morning, only the fourth time it's been used. On the inside, it is leaking a bit, but keeping a wall of water from filling up the field. Probably about uh, six to seven feet. You know, you and I would be swimming. And three weeks before opening day, the turf would be covered with silt. And the turf at Synergy Field is brand new. Brand new. Just last Friday, the county did the final walkthrough and decided that they were going to go ahead and pay the $2 million to the contractor who put it in. And then just two days after they decided to do that, they were putting in a floodgate to protect it from the river. <laughs> Four hours a day, 16 monstrous old pumps push the river water back into the river. It's a 1960s technology that is fighting and beating the flood of 97. Our hat's off to the original engineer because it's all working. For some, additional proof that building a new field on the river is not a sin.